hey what's up guys so guys in today's video we are going to talk about dynamic forms so if you are working on it or if you are planning to work on it then this video is for you guys so guys dynamic forms are basically evolution of the page layouts which we have right now in, in our salesforce org uh, using the dynamic forms guys we can create a more user centric page layout you know in which we can just show and hide fields based on user requirement so guys it's all about displaying the correct information at the correct time so guys, before the dynamic forms, you must be struggling by creating different, different page layout and assigning those permission to profiles. Using the dynamic forms, guys, we can display fields based on some criteria. Like let's say there could be some fields which are required, but uh, uh, that, that field is not necessary on all the page layouts or maybe for all the users. So guys, using the dynamic form, we can display or we can hide that field based on some particular criteria. Unfortunately, guys, dynamic forms are only available for custom objects. It is not available for standard objects like account and contact. But Salesforce is planning to have this functionality in upcoming release. So guys, in today's example, we will create a dynamic form. First of all, we will be creating a custom object. Of course, after that, we will create a dynamic form. And on that dynamic form, based on a specific criteria, we will display and hide a field based on that specific criteria. Okay. So guys, let's start today's video. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bold. Right, guys so we'll be trying this example into our developer org so let me just log in into mine so this is my developer org and as I told you earlier guys like the functionality is only available for custom objects right now so in this developer org, I will be creating a custom object and in that custom object, I will be having some fields and we will enable the dynamic form functionality on that custom object layout and then we will display a field based on a specific criteria. Okay, so let's start by creating a custom object here. So let's create an object very quickly. Okay, let's name it. dynamic form object okay so the object is ready guys now we will create some fields here let's create a new field Okay, so guys, uh, first of all, I'm creating a checkbox field and based on this checkbox, we'll be displaying some fields into that dynamic form itself. So my checkbox field name is, is available. The default value is uncheck. Let's make it visible for all and save and new okay now let's create a text field let's name it text field one okay And we will have another text field. Let's name it text field 2. So, guys, basically, what we are going to do here, we will be displaying uh, these text, text 1 and text 2 fields based on the checkbox selection. Okay. And we will be doing it on the dynamic forms itself. Okay. So, let's save it and Oh, we have to create a tab first so let's create a custom tab here here is my object let's choose any tab style and here it is Okay. 
okay everything looks good to me I'm unable to click on the next button I think the position of this screen is locked let me just unlock it first okay So guys, whenever you are working on Salesforce and recording your screen, just make sure you don't put your camera on the right side of the screen because, you know, the most of the buttons are on the bottom right corner or, you know, in the center. So I, I personally feel like it, it would be better like if you put your camera on the bottom left corner. Okay, now let's get back to the topic again. So the tab is created. Now let's search for the object let me just refresh it once here it is dynamic form object okay let's create a new record first so guys this is the default page layout we are having uh, here so let's see dynamic test and as you can see nothing will happen if i will cl click on this checkbox and check or uncheck it okay so let's save this record so guys how you can convert this page layout to dynamic forms it is very simple guys to convert this page layout to dynamic form you just have to click on the gear icon then hit edit page so guys you can uh, you can active dynamic forms by any record page but it will work only for custom object if you will check the same thing on the standard object this won't be available okay so let's hit on detail page and here it is so as you can see in the right side guys it says you can uh, upgrade it to the dynamic form so we will upgrade this detail page to the dynamic form okay all right let's skip this next time So this is the only layout we are having here. So guys, now the detail page has been converted into dynamic form. So guys, the main uh, functionality in dynamic form is like you can just drag and drop field. You don't have to worry about different, different section. You don't have to worry about layout. You can simply just drag and drop fields wherever you want. Okay. So guys, in this dynamic form, we will display uh, text field one and text field two based on this is available checkbox okay so let's start with text field one so guys you just have to simply uh, set a filter here so we can add a filter uh, we will select is available equals to true okay so this will be only visible if is available equals to true and let's have the same filter here guys you can see i pop up here it means uh, the visibility will be hidden or the it will be visible based on a particular criteria okay so let's have another criteria here it is available equals to true okay and guys in advanced criteria you can select field you can select operator and you can select value manually also okay let me just make it a little quick okay so we are having the visibility filter on these two fields so let's save this record okay and don't forget to activate it i'm assigning it as my org default that for desktop and phone okay it is saved now let's go back and see the magic so guys i hope you remember the old page layout of this dynamic form object let me show you the dynamic forms now so guys this is the new page layout or you can say this is a dynamic form now this is not like the usual page layout so as you can see uh, there are few fields missing on this page layout which is text field one and text field two 
and those fields are missing because guys we have applied a visibility on those fields and those fields are dependent on this checkbox now so whenever you will select this checkbox the field will will be displayed under underneath that checkbox let me show you how it's going to work so guys as you can see if you check this checkbox the field will be displayed here and if you uncheck it so the field will be hidden again okay let's create a record and let's say if i'm having is available true so the fields will be displayed here guys so let's fill the value and let's save this record okay guys so as you can see in detail page you are able to see these two fields and if we talk about the first record so the fields are missing here because the is available checkbox is false so guys that's how you can just create different different visibility based on your requirement so you don't have to create separate page layout you know for every field section you don't have to create separate separate page layouts and you don't need to assign the permission to different profiles it is as simple as that so guys uh, that's how you can just create a dynamic form you can set field rendering here and guys i will be also having a blog about it you can directly go to my blog and check for that also and that i will uh, explain with some screenshots like how you can activate the dynamic forms and how you can set the field visibility here okay so guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you like today's video a subscribe to the channel will be awesome hey guys i hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below also let me know if you have any query in the comment section below guys i'll try to revert back as soon as possible i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching